the 5,000 metres in depth has improved so much this season. Well, I mean, we've got so many athletes in here running the 1310. We've got seven men who've run under 1310 for a 5,000 metres. And I can't believe there's ever been a race where there's been so much talent stacked up in one championship event. There's my favourite, Carlitz Scar. He chose to run the 5,000 rather than the 10,000 metres. He's the fastest man in the world this year. And the only title that's available, available to him that he's never won is a world championship title on the track. Twice world cross country champion, Olympic 10,000 metre champion, trying to become the world 5,000 metre champion. But he's taking on the Kenyans, he's taking on the Ethiopians, and he's going to have some race to run in order to try and do that. He makes a point of saying it's very difficult to be alone taking on the Kenyans. And of course he's done that at world cross country level, twice the world champion. And he's done that in the Olympic Games as well. 348 is Kevin Selassie, only 20, the world junior, 5,000 and 10,000 meter champion from Ethiopia. So the runners very unsettled. And our way they go, they're in two groups, and as in the women's 3,000 meters, they split as they turn into the, they join up as they turn into the straight. Snaggered, so they all run the same distance, and Carlin Scar on the near side. Followed by Chasiri and Bikila. Seven, seven, eight, and the lead is Mike Chasiri. Second place, Carlin Scar. And with so many Africans in this, it's unlikely to be tactical. They do like to inject pace. If it is tactical, it'll be tactical because they will go fast. They'll run at speed. Mike Chesire, they're the brother of Joseph Chesire, who was fourth in the Olympic Games in Los Angeles and fourth again in Seoul. And he's stretching out the pace here. 61, first lap, absolutely world record pace, no question. But he's stretching away from Carl Edscar, who's deciding sensibly to go no faster than this, the pace that he's decided to run at, which won't be under 13 minute pace, I'm sure. Carl Edscar in second place, and then Bitov, the Olympic silver medalist behind him. Coming on the outside, Ismail Karui. He's the brother of Richard Chalimo, and Richard Chalimo, remember, ran in the Olympic Games against Carl Edscar, and they came to war on the last lap, and there's a lot of ill feeling still between the Kenyans, particularly Richard Chalimo and Khaled Scar. And Ismail Karui, who was a junior last year, won the Junior World Championships last year on the cross country and then stepped in this year and was third. But Mike Chisiri, I think, is going a suicidal pace. I think Khaled Scar is more sensible in second place, a little bit more conservative. It's fast enough there. It's going to be hard enough. It's going to be a tough race. And Mike Chisiri, they're pressing it along, goes through 800 meters. Well, the clock didn't stop, it did stop. Just over two minutes for 800 meters. Just over four minute mile pace, but they've got to run more than three miles. So I think Chasira is going far too quickly, even for a Kenyan distance runner. Well, a quick uh, glance at the triple jump. And Mike Connolly looking to the crowd to give him a big lift here. We're in the third round, and Connolly is back in fourth place. Oh, that looks better. That was about as long as the foul he had earlier, but it's a valid jump this time. One almost senses every time this man steps onto the runway, you're about to see something special. And he may well have produced something special in the third round. That was the round Dan O'Brien said he was going to do it in. And my goodness, look at that. The distance between 17 meters and the 18 meter line. If those lines are correct, that could be a huge jump. Mike Connolly just checking. And this will mean he could go ahead of Jonathan Edwards, who will be down to fourth place if he's in excess of 17.24. And it certainly is that. 17 meters 70 for Connolly. What a lead at the end of the third round. Well, it really is all happening. This is the defending world champion, Kim O'Kinnanen, in the javelin in the third round as well. 
Well, he's shown in different form, but he's rolled that one on, and it's big! The first line is 75, the second is 80, the third is 85, it's not far short of that. And if that's confirmed, not only will it be the leading distance, pulling Mick Hill back into second, it'll be a championship record, and it is! 84-78 for the Finn, he goes into the lead. Back with the 5,000 metres, they've got nine and a half laps to go, and they're really knocking out the laps. Very first time indeed. In fact, at the moment, they're getting quite close to world record pace. Let me just uh, take you back to the field. It's Karui, the uh, teenage Kenyan, who's taken them on in front, followed by Gemma Selassie, who's only 20 from Ethiopia. Mike Chisiri is losing his place slightly. 189 coming out on the outside is Dizzy Garma and Burundi on the inside Scar, the world 10,000 metre champion. And we got uh, Bayesa and Bitok, the Kenyan. Well, I mean, Mike Chesire had to lose his place there. He ran the first 1,000 metres in 231, which is 12.35 pace for the, for the 5,000 metres. There's no way they could keep going at that. And this is a vicious race out there. I'm just looking at 4 8 for 4 laps. I'm looking back to Rob Denmark, who basically, it's like a, oh, eyeballs out, he's just got to battle all the way. He's got to try and pick off as many of his can.